Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be changing out the power supply on a Dell XPX. This is the 8940 Model D28M and here is my power supply. So what happened is that there was a power outage and I believe the search went out and right after the search went out, the computer does not turn on. So when I press the power button, there's no sign of any power, there's no sign of the fan turning, no lights whatsoever. So more likely I would believe that the power supply went out and um, I'd like to change out the power supply and hopefully that would fix the problem. So in this video, if you happen to have the same problem like I do, your Dell desktop XPX is not powering on and happen to have a surge the night before then more likely you might have a burn power supply hopefully it's not the motherboard so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the power supply and i was also going to link all the tools and where to buy the power supply from it could be from ebay or from amazon so check the link down below i'll be using a phillip screwdriver here what I'm trying to do is to remove the screw so the screw does not come out as long as the screw is loose you're good enough and there's one at the very bottom here do the same and slide the panel to your left okay so let me show it to you how the computer was laid down on the side so if you take a look here I have the ports or your USB, your speaker, your monitor ports lay down on the table. So this is going to be right next to the table. And I just moved that side panel, which is on the other side of the desktop. All right, so if you take a look here, I do have the power supply at the very bottom, which I need to remove as well. Get the Phillips screwdriver. And there are three screws here at the very bottom. Okay, once you have removed that all three screws, what I'm going to do is to start removing the cables. Here on the motherboard is a six, eight, six pin connector. So you need to press, you actually need to press and pull that connector up. So press and pull because this is the secure clipper there's a little pin clipper you need to press open up that clipper and pull it straight up if you look carefully all around the desktop you have this little clipper and that clipper right there you want to open up a little bit so that you can get to the cable that clipper right there they are just to clip on the cable like a cable management system you just have to make sure you open up and you can get to get to the cable okay so once I have done with that first one I'll be working on the second press the clipper pull this straight up this is a four pin connector remove both of them work my way around it gently slide that cable towards my body I need to slide it out try not to uh, break any of the Wi-Fi cable or try not to get caught in between the SATA cable alright so I get the thing out I have the next one which is the graphics card the graphics card here is a 6 pin connector pull and remove it Alright, that's pretty much it. We have disconnected all the cables. Get yourself a very long flathead screwdriver or something like a stick. What we want to do is to push this little blue tab. Okay, push it down. Push that little blue tab. Push it down 
and slide the power supply to your right. Once the power supply is out, you can just remove them entirely off your desktop. Okay, I was referring to this little clipper. You need to push it down to remove it. Here is the new power supply to install. It's just a simple thing by pushing all the way down, slide it to your left and you can hear that clip, the blue clip I was telling you about and you would lock it back in. So this one here that has the purple, the black, the blue, the gray that goes to the motherboard, 6 pin connector. This one right here is a 6 pin connector, this PCIe that goes to your graphics card. The other two cables is all the way to the very top of your motherboard that is a 4 pin connector and the other 4 pin connector. Go ahead and do some cable management, clip it back in. Alright, do not forget to put the three screws, the three screws are supposed to be back into the power supply, so put it back in, Okay, once you have the three screws all the way in, install it securely. What you want to do is to slide the side panel. Okay, put it in, push it all the way in, slide it in, and do not forget the two screws. So one on the top, and one is at the bottom. All right. That's pretty much it. And that would be for your Dell XPX. Um, Dell XPX power supply replacement. Okay, let's talk about a little bit um, what you need to know or what you need to have beforehand. Um, of this repair so definitely you do need to have a Phillips screwdriver uh, that's for sure and of course you do need to have the replacement power supply and the replacement power supply model here if you take a closer look the model is HU360 EBM-00 or you can look it up here 0YCR D7. So that would be the model for this particular Dell XPX desktop. And of course, I would do my best to link them down below where you can go directly to either Amazon or eBay to find a replacement part of your power supply. Um, and I would like to say that if you find this video is helpful, Please do me a favor by smashing the like button. Uh, click on the like button, share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate you for doing that. Uh, it, it does take me a lot of effort um, to do this type of tutorial video to show the repair. Um, I mean to show computer repair stuff to you. So. Um, I'll be really appreciate you for liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Alright, 
So I wish you all the best. Good luck with the repair. If you have any question, please comment below. I do read your comments and I will answer any of your computer re related questions. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.